Hey, so I'm actually doing some uh, automation stuff here with my son. We're going to try automating some sort of game on Discord, which he's showing me how to do this. So let me uh, switch over here to... Oh, that is the wrong window, but that's all right. Let's move it over here. Well, that... Okay, so this is... This is Discord, the program, and you said, so you added me as a friend. Yay. Direct message to go to mine. Yep. I'm going to wave. Hi. So I am joined. Yep. So, and then what? Uh, now you're in it, so now i got to figure out how to do this. So... I went over to uh, the money section, which you on the left. Yeah. And that's where you can do the commands. But how how do you tell it to, to do, do I have to click that first? No, no, no. You, uh... Oh, this is your server we're going to automate. Is that what it yeah. is? Okay. And this is just where, so an example would be here. You type something. Yep, you type uh, PLS. And that's like for please, right? Yeah, please. And then and that's just like the start of a command, and then you can put in a bunch of stuff. Like, you see what I did up there? Um, like, you type please search. And then you can pick one of those three. So, let's see. Tap, 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 tap. That's... Uh, you could just, uh, oh, never mind. Uh, it ran out of time. Wow. Alright, well, the first thing is, so, let's, uh, let's, I mean, uh, let's break this thing up some, and let's, uh, oh, come on, what? Here. Let's put this, there we go, and then we're gonna, this is, so, uh, actually, that's site. I don't program in site anymore. Here we go. So um, let's add a little comment. So this is, what's it called? I think. Hello, what's it called? Dank member. So in an auto hotkey, you have to, if you put a semicolon in the beginning, it turns it into a comment. So that's just letting us know what we're working on. All right. I have some hotkeys default ones here, which we don't have to get into, but we're just going to say, Send and then PLS and then what was the search? Yep. So I'm gonna save this and now let me move this over here so we can see. Although I don't know if it's gonna show up anymore. So I'm gonna launch it and now this script is running. Which we can see what? Oh, you know what? Ready. So, uh, there we go. So, see that? That's this script. It's running, right? And we could right click yep. it and say reload it or edit it, which will pull it up in this window or pause this and that, right? But right now, we don't um, we don't have it doing uh, monitoring. Let's go back to here. Now I'm going to hit my hot key. I'm going to click in here because this is right now we're not really automated. At least we're, we're baby stepping into it, right? So I'm going to click here. Now watch when I hit my hot key. So see it dumped that in there, right? And we're going to hit and well, actually let me let's fix that because I should have said um, enter. So I need to save it, relaunch it, and I'm going to hit my hot key there. And now it sent it, mm -hmm. right? So now you're saying we would click one of these. I was hoping that we could find a way to tab to them. Um, let me see if we can shift tab. Wow, it already timed out. Yeah, it times out like in 30, 10, or 30 or 10 seconds. 30 or 10 seconds? Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm going to hit my hotkey again and see what just did it. Now, what we're going to do is let's do, uh, since it looks like we're going to have to do image search, I'm going to launch, this is the tool I wrote. Um, we're going to 
it's probably going to time out before we can um, yeah let me first show you how it works so i'm going to hit oh i was hitting the wrong key f1 and let's say i wanted to click this right so see it up there i'm going to move move away now i'm going to say display matches so see it found it yep and then i can hit test and it's going to click once it's done it's done blinking here come on there we go so test and it just sent a click there right yeah but not everything it's not going to have the word band in it right so what we need to do is to uh, get like the a corner where it's not going to change yeah so we're going to delete the step what oh it did okay and then here i'm going to come in here actually you know what i'm going to do i'm going to cheat so i'm going to hit this now i'm going to go like this um and we're going to so this is just an image so i don't have to worry about the timing of this right and hopefully that's going to be roughly the same color so i'm going to hit um f1 uh, and so now i'm going to go like this and then uh f1 again to to lock it and move away and f1 now when i say display matches so see it found all three of those yep right and we actually could say um choose match so if i wanted to click the second one i can say um test and actually let me let me change this to moving the mouse there and we're going to do an actual click so so we're going to hit test and see how it moved it to the second corner mm -hmm. if i change this to the third one it'll move it to the third corner right but we don't since from talking to you the other day it doesn't maybe you know but often it just you know it'd be really complex to try to figure out why which one to choose and whatever yeah. right so we're just going to leave it at the first one that it finds um and so i'm going to hit test one more time so it did it now this no we don't want to use this because this is just more work right so i'm going to hit export now see this oh actually there's two how is there two okay well the second one i, I swear oh that was it for i hear delete step i guess i didn't have it selected when i hit delete steps earlier so i'm gonna hit export again so this we're going to come back into here and paste that now this right here this is the command which says what are we doing we're going to look we're going to do something with the mouse we're going to move it are we going to send an actual click if it was a zero it would be no and so one says yes uh, how many clicks are we going to do we want a single click right mm -hmm. um, you know what the restore position sure let's put a one here which will mean after it moves it there it's going to move the mouse back to where it was um, and that's probably good enough for now so i'm going to save this relaunch it Let's minimize, get rid of that. And now, um, now we might have to build a sleep in here. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't find it, unfortunately. And I'm, let's try it again on, on, so it's finding it there. Um, maybe gonna have to to capture it from so i'm gonna hit the hot key it does it right here f5 oh come on f5 f5 and f5 okay display matches okay so now it's on that so actually that's pretty close to what we want so i'm gonna um it's actual kick uh, click keep keep active yeah that's fine and restore position and I'm going to hit export. And now we're going to swap this out with this. And we're also going to um, say sleep 2000. So to start off, so sleep means pause, basically wait. And it's in milliseconds. So if he did two, it'd be 2,000th of a second. Mm -hmm. Right? So 2,000 is how long? Yeah. It's two seconds. <laughs> which is longer than we need, but to start off, it's better to be a little cautious, you know, the timing. So 
we're, we're gonna hit it so it sent it and we're waiting oh and there it goes it moved, did you see how it moved the mouse there mm -hmm. now what we need to might need to do is to move it over um to move it over and up so that's what the offsets for so let's see if if that'll still find it no i didn't think so So let's see. So now what we're gonna do, let me move this over here so people can see. So we're gonna we're playing with this. So we're gonna say um, offset. So the X is this way. So the X we want to move. Let's move it more. And the Y we're gonna move a bunch too. And now we can say show offset. Oh, it's doing it down here. That's where it was. That's where I found it originally. So actually, oh, I should have done that. Sorry, I should have on the Y, I should have done a negative, not a positive. There we go. So that's better. So, um, what? I didn't mean to do that. Um, do you remember what that number was before? Let's do it again. Um, I think this was like 20 and that was a minus 20. Oh, we'll see if we can, it's, look how cool that is. Mm -hmm. It even does it for you. All right. So now I'm going to export that. Now here, all we're going to do is instead of change, cause that image it was looking for, might be different. I don't want to mess with that. So it's on the clipboard. I'm gonna paste it. And then, you know, this is something pretty simple. So offset, so see here, this is 20 and minus one. Mm -hmm. right. So actually, I thought that should have been higher. Minus, minus 10 and 20. So then we're gonna get rid of this one. So now we're using that original image. I'm gonna save this, relaunch it. Um, actually it should, let's see if it'll work on that. There it goes. So see where it moved the mouse to? Mm -hmm. So and and did it actually send the actual click there? Move actual click, yes. So and it sent the text up here um, because I wasn't in the right thing, which is fine. So now let's try it. Looks like it didn't find the oh, I think it found this one. Yeah. Now it clicked the old one. Yep, you have to wait nine more seconds. The default's 25. Okay. Well, that's fine. We're, we're going to... Does it tell you when it's done, or do you have to just guess? You just have to guess. Okay. La, 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 la. So, more... Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to... Well, what actually, after it says you get the... You click it, then what happens? Uh, It gives you the random amount of money and stuff. And then you just start over? Yeah. So let's see. So that should have been nine seconds by now. Did it click it? No. But it moved the mouse there. Move. How come that didn't, did that, does that stay like that? Yeah. Oh, I think that's going to be problematic. Oh, it's finding it. We'll click keep it. It should be working fine. Let's turn off the restore position. Oh, let's turn off the keep active too. Um, export that and take a look. Oh, that's easy enough. Um, it's our position. I'm gonna say that is a zero. Mouse hook, match one, mouse hook, funny area. And this, as long as you put the, the comma at the beginning, you can have it go across lines, you know, multiple lines. Ones.
quick cut one, actual one. Let's put that in quotes just to make sure that doesn't matter. Do you, th do you think two is too long? Um, no. I don't know how that's not. Yeah, it's really weird. Um, well, you know what? The other thing is, like, it seems like this is always the same location. We should be able to, we don't even have to search. We can just have the mouse go up there and click. And also, should we be doing this on my account or Chris's account? It'll, okay. we'll change it over later, John. Okay. Sure. We're, well, we're just building the program. It doesn't matter what we build it in. Right? Mm -hmm. Didn't want to search anywhere. What was that? Anyway. Um, so. So here's, so we're going to use this tool to get some coordinates. What? What's that? What? Let's follow the mouse and um, let's see what control or shift to suspend so control all right so active window position x289 y124 that's what what didn't do whatever you did that <laughs> Oh, because I hit the, because, all right. My hotkey for doing the screen clipping is what also up, un, unsuspends this, unfortunately. Control or shift. Okay, so. Okay. Anyway, that was the, the thing. So. Let's. Turn this off for now and say mouse click which button I think it's just left and the X on the Y so what's the X two eight nine comma one two four now we might have to activate that window first but we'll find out let's let's go where there it is. Whoa, did you see how that went way up here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think it's... Um, we would need the other... Okay, so see these other positions up here? That's what we should... And just for the quick and dirty, we'll need to pay attention to that. So, so screen will do... Seven, oh, 707 and 730. So we'll go back to it. I don't think that works. <laughs> Worked perfectly. What do you mean? <laughs> um... Well, let's try window. 421 and 600. 421 and 600. There we go. Oh, look at that. And they clicked it. See that? Mm-hmm. So, now, can you have to wait? 
still, right? Even if that worked, you still need to wait. Is yeah. that right? So here we're going to say loop, let's say five times. And we're going to put this into a loop, right? Yep. But here, what was the... Um, five seconds. Wow, that long? Yeah. Which is also why I, uh, I do other... other sure. Commands. So let's do... What do you mean? There's uh, other commands to do than just that one that'll earn money. But you can do it right away? Yeah. Like it, what? Uh, there's uh, the pish. Is there any delay you have to wait? Uh, there's only delays between the same command, not okay. separate and, ones. And if we did fish, does it have the same kind of thing? It's in the same spot, the same thing to click? Uh, no, fish is just, uh, if you just do it, then it works. You don't have to click anything. Well, then why don't you just fish? Because it takes like a 15 second thing and I do other ones as well. Well, what's, what's another, what, what are her, so let's, um, there's, so search and that's a 25 second, right? Yeah. Fish is what? Fish is, I think, uh, 15 seconds. Okay. Uh, no, the default is actually 35 seconds per fish. And what are some other ones? Uh, there's dig. There's, um... Uh, how much is that? One second. But even then, as long as you're switching between them, it doesn't matter? Uh, if you do them in, like, uh, uh, time things, like, if you wait, like, two seconds before doing another one, then it kind of creates a little loop. The default for dig is also 35. And then there's hunt... Which is, um, hunt is also 35. Yeah, but, but the thing is, it really doesn't matter because we're going to switch between them. Right. So, and as long as you're switching between them, it doesn't matter, right? Mm -hmm. So, let's change this. Well, first off, let's try it with, just to get this right. So, this is, let's make it 26 seconds, right? 26,000. So we're going to come in here. It's going to do that and click. And it's going to, oh crap, I didn't, I didn't go back and activate this. So I'll have to automate that part too. We'll, we'll, we'll test after you do that. Maybe we can hit tab or just win activate might do it. Mm-hmm. Right and oh, no tab. Oh, good one. See that one tab got us back yeah. in there. So I'm gonna actually. It's it, when you're sending keystrokes, which I don't usually do. Um, it's good to have sleeps. Oops. So it it, it got. It was trying to do the script. Okay, so. And let's throw in, so. When activate, and then that's what this tool is also great for is. So I see this money discord. Mm -hmm. So hopefully that'll work just like that. And we might do that before. Before every time before the uh, we send the keystrokes. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna nest this whole thing to where it cycles through those other things you mentioned. Mm -hmm. So it does this routine, but right now we're just testing to make sure that this part works right. Uh, then we'll get rid of that long sleep and have it just loop through each one. That that looks pretty good, though, huh? For a few minutes worth of work, right? It wasn't terrible. Yeah. 
And that, that'll just get you, like, if you leave that running overnight or something, that'll get you a lot of money. Well, well, yeah, but that's, this is like, we're waiting 26 seconds in between every time. Well, you're telling me, you know, well, if you're, if you change the action, the verb, you know, what you're, what you're, the please, you know, how long do you have to wait between, you said two seconds? Oh, um, no, like, uh, you, uh, what, what were we okay, so, what exactly were we talking about? The, we have to always use please and then something else. Well, there's not a cooldown between the separate commands. There's not at all? No. Okay, because a minute ago you said something about two seconds or something, but. I can check really quick. I can. Okay, I'm going to. So, this seems to work pretty well. Now, the problem is we move this, and those are screen coordinates, right? So, it would break, but. To start off, it's okay. So, um, that and that had five loops built into it. So we're gonna change this to. Let's actually we'll, we'll comment that out and let's sleep. Um, one second. So we're gonna take we're gonna create what's called an object. So I'm going to say, um, what are those things called? The search, fish, dig, hunt, action? Yeah. Action, colon, equals. Actually, we're going to make an array. So arrays have braces instead of brackets. And we're going to say, and we're going to put in the words. All right, so search, comma, fish. Oops. Uh, dig and hunt so oops hunt. so let me show you how this works right here right so uh -huh. we're gonna do a for loop for um each in action i'm gonna say a message box each so when we go through this watch what happens so what oh i did the wrong um So act now, so search, fish, dig, hunt. See how it's looping over them, mm -hmm. right? So we're gonna take this general thing and we're gonna apply it inside here. So this is gonna become act and this we're just gonna bring down to here. Um, and actually, I think that, oops, so that might loop over those four things, mm -hmm. so let's see here, oh, yeah, you have to buy a fishing pole, <laughs> you have to buy stuff, I forgot about that, you don't have to rebuy the stuff, though, you don't have to buy it. Well, do I, does it, do I have enough money to buy it? Uh, I think so. Uh, type, please, shop. And then you have all that stuff. Uh, go over to the, if you click the arrow to the right. Uh, hunting rifles, 25,000. Fishing poles, also that. And so it's a shovel. So that'll be a total of 75,000. How much do I have? Um, type, please, B-A-L. Yeah, twenty eight thousand. I can also do uh, one sec. Okay, yep, and then click trade. Yep, so I just gave uh It again, I guess. Yep. Yep. Okay. So I just gave you a uh, hundred thousand. So how do I buy the stuff? Uh, you type please buy and then the item. So like hunting rifle or fishing rod. 
Yep. And then hunting rifle. And then shovel. Yep. Alright, so now we can relaunch it. Oh yeah, see, it's only a, a chance to actually get stuff for... I mean, you can sell, like, the seaweed and skunk. So, that finished that loop, but now we're just going to say loop. Um, we'll say 10, just, just get it going. Now, what do you think is going to happen? Uh, it's going to loop every 10 seconds, or no? No, it's going gonna, it's gonna to loop over each one of those things 10, ten times. times, right? So, it's just going to start burning through that. And this is the absolute worst way to automate something of sending keystrokes, right? Like I don't normally do it because the Discord has an API, which means we could programmatically do this. There's also other ways to connect with this and detect it. But you see how, what? Slow it down, bud. Yeah. All right. So why don't we, we're going to make this five seconds, maybe? Yeah. Because it only needed an extra two seconds for that. Okay. Well, and, and since it's automated, you know, this is where you're like, whatever. Mm -hmm. Right. Add some cushion into it, then you don't have to worry about it. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. As you were saying. Well, there's just a lot of different ways that you can automate programs. And this is by far the worst. Uh, but if you're running it just on your computer and you're not giving it to other people and you're not using your computer at the same time, it'll work. Mm-hmm. I'm not very good at it because I don't use this approach usually, but uh, yeah, it's still not terrible. Oh boy, we get a lot of skunks. Yeah. The best thing I think I got from that was a uh, deer so far. Oh, yeah. Also, you can die whenever you search, so it's <laughs> best if you get lifesavers because if you don't, you'll lose all your money. That sucks. <laughs> well, what if, what if I got certs? Or Tic Tacs instead of lifesavers. No. <laughs> it costs like 50000 for one life. So it's like an insurance thing. Yeah. Although it only works once. Yeah, but still, it's it's good to buy one and you have it. Do, where in here, it doesn't show you your balance ongoing? No, it doesn't. Uh, also, you got a message from the thing a bit ago. It's probably for like the... Oh, I just remembered something. We didn't have to buy the things. You get a uh, starter box at the start, and you have to open that. It gives you a fishing pole, hunting oh. rifle, shovel, and like 25,000 something. Oh, cool. so you get it? Yeah. Overall? Yeah, that just takes practice. But now we'll we'll get this set up on your computer. Um, and, and like I said, though, I made it where... If theoretically, if we did this, see how it activated it. Mm -hmm. So that that's that when activate, you get the program. What would be better is to be able to get it to set it right there. Um, to be sure it's actually in there. But again, if you're not using the computer at the time, it's it's not there. Yep. 